Okay, I'm going to do a video without a microphone because it crackles and without a tripod. <laughs> yeah, we're down to the basics here. Yeah, Tuesday everything comes. Okay. See, I, I'm trying to like get this to be... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> huh. Yeah. Um... Let's see. Where can I put it? Ah, ah. <laughs> Let's see. Let me see if. I, oh, there. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I can't get it. You know, uh, at a good spot. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a video. Yeah. Um, I had to get out my tripod. It's, it's a little iffy. And of course, I can't use my microphone anymore because crackle, crackle. Yeah. Okay, so today's going to be question and answer. I'm going to answer a lot of your questions that you left on my comments. Um, let me turn this off. Recently, I've discovered that I want to answer your questions, but it's going to take a long time to type it in. <laughs> so I think I'll just do it this way. Yeah. Let's see. Um, let's see. This is pretty good. Let's bring it up just a little bit more. It's crazy when you don't have the right equipment. <laughs> Tuesday, it'll be coming. But I want to give you a couple updates. What do you think of my podcast, This Nomad Life? Yeah, um, I just put up, just a couple hours ago, I published my third podcast. And I did notice, crackle, <laughs> on my microphone. Oh, I just need another microphone and it's coming. And I hope it works. But uh, I don't know what's up with my microphone. I've, I've discussed it so many times. It is the number one microphone for other uh, YouTubers and podcasters and whatever. Mine crackles. So, yeah. I've looked online to see if it's possibly my iPhone. I don't know. Uh, we shall see. Okay. No, it can't be. Um because it said on my iPhone, they described it, you have two underneath, which are your, um, for audio, when you're just doing audio. And then your front, you have a front microphone for when you do front, like I'm doing now. And um, then for your back camera, you have another microphone. So they said it could be one of those. Well, it actually crackles a little bit, you know, when I'm actually just was doing my podcast. So it's, it's got to be, the, it's a microphone. It just is. Did I get a bad one? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go in. I haven't left them a uh, bad uh, review yet, but, oh, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. So the podcast, yes, um, it does take time to do it. Um, I'm going to have to find a way to do it on my um, new laptop because... I can find better software on there and it'll be easier because when I'm working with my iPhone, it's like right there, I'm dealing with such little and when it comes to audio, yeah, I need to be really looking in there. Um, Anchor.fm has an editor, but yeah, I mean, a couple of times it, um, it, it wouldn't edit. I did, I did like 20 minutes of edit and I went to push save. And uh, it kept spinning, and then finally says, try again, and then I have to, like, delete it. And then do it again. No, I don't have that much time. So, um, it's imperative that I get better a microphone, a tripod, and uh, better software. So, yeah. So, I'm happy to report on the podcast that I am pretty much on all of the formats. Okay. okay so, I will list them here. I'm on Apple. Woo! I was really happy about that. Of course, I'm an Apple girl. Um, Apple, Spotify, Breaker, TuneIn. 
that one you have to pay for it. I didn't even check it, but it says um, that I'm on, uh, I'm on there. Overcast, Downcast, Pocket Cast, Google Podcast, Anchor, of course, they're the ones that are publishing it for me. And then um, I'm on all the public radios. <laughs> yes. Um, I've tried most of them. All you have to do is search for This Nomad Life or search for Minnie Van Lee. There you go. What I'm asking you to do is subscribe. Just, you know, if you have more time than you know what to do with, <laughs> go to each one of these and go subscribe. Um, the more subscribers I get, oh, and then rate it. Oh, give me a five-star rating. Um, it says uh, that I don't have enough rating. I rated myself, but it doesn't show anything because I don't have enough. <laughs> So, because I'm so new, but I just want to report that I'm so glad about that. Um, my main, of course, my main um, thing that I enjoy doing is um, the videos, but I always wanted to do a podcast. In fact, way even before I was thinking of doing this, I told my daughter, I said, We need to do a podcast. Uh, yeah, I was, I was listening to podcasts years ago. Okay, so that's it. Let's move on. Okay, got my iPod, as my granddaughter calls it. And shout out to Cheryl Cornman. And she says that other device is a slow cooker device for heating and not cooking from scratch. And, oh, let's turn this off. And you're talking about that 12 volt cooker. Yeah, I mean, I kind of knew that, but he was cooking from scratch. The one he has, it's called 12 volt cooking. Um, on his uh, YouTube channel and some of them he said I wasn't gonna do a whole chicken like he was doing but Because um, some of the videos that showed that he was cooking like a potato in an hour and I thought that would be applicable, but um, No, it didn't uh, actually cook properly. So uh, That's why I got the steamer. Yeah, okay. Let's see what else we have Oh, and then Cheryl you also mentioned um, the shampoo I really, I don't mind washing my hair. I kind of like using water. I don't mind washing my hair. I mean, I've got it down. I did it, actually, I did it last night, and I got the curls back. This is not my uh, hair piece. This is my actual hair. <laughs> and um, I don't mind using water. I don't I don't want to put anything on my head that's going to stay there. It, that, For me personally, if you like it, but for me, it creeps me out. I don't want anything on my in my scalp that might actually stay there. I want to like get rid of everything. Well, oh, my hair looks funny. Thought I did it okay. <laughs> Aren't I vain? Look at it's not perfect. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, so thank you for the suggestion. Um, oh, a shout out to Liz. Truillo. Truillo? Uh, what kind of computer did you get? And where did you purchase it? I'm looking for one too. I went on Amazon, of course. I'm an Amazonian. And it was a renewed Dell. It's a Latitude. So it's a Dell Latitude. It's a renewed program, which means it's sort of refurbished, really. That's kind of low. like, you know, cars are like uh, pre-owned cars, you know. Yeah. Um, they just went over and they kind of replaced anything that needed to replace. They cleaned everything out, put a new battery in the computer, things like that, put new windows, wiped everything out, and went over everything, maybe upgraded the, um, the graphics card, things like that. So that's what I got. Thank you for asking, Liz. And Jay Galathome. Sorry, my, you know, my glasses, I think I need to upgrade. And of course, this is a little iPod because uh, my phone's right there. Uh, you're helping people with your how-to videos. How can a person live in a van and be happy? Thanks, Lee. That wasn't really a question. You were just um, making a statement. Yes. Yes. And Ro Pro. Justin Fisher. Hi, Lee. As you know, I just started my YouTube channel, ChadTube. And what to, and what do you use for the phone to edit what app? I use Luma Fusion on my iPhone, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna be going to my um, 
laptop pretty soon. And to tell you the truth, I'm going to start looking for a camera. Anybody has suggestions um, that knows somebody who does YouTube, what kind of a camera that I should get? Because there's a lot of slots in that uh, laptop. And I can just put a memory card in, and then zip it in on the videos that I take. So, yeah. I'm going to be upgrading pretty soon. Um, but I use LumaFusion on here. So, well, Chad Tube. I, well, Justin, I will subscribe to your YouTube channel. And we all can. There we go. Do you, and uh, Julie, Julia Tyson, do you have a Dollar Tree in your area? And like you stay in Walmart too? Oh, well, okay. I, there are Dollar Trees everywhere. That's the only one I go to. I don't go to the 99 cent store because not everything uh, is 99 cents. Dollar Tree, everything is 99 cents. When I walk into a store like that, I want to know that everything's 99 cents. Otherwise, I can go to the grocery store or Walmart and probably get a better price than I've seen at some of those 99 cent stores. So, yeah. Okay. Kathleen, can't you return that microphone and get your money back? No, because I got it um, last February. Also, the Ropo does pull a lot of juice, which is why it's best used plugged into the vehicle. Well, I don't, here's the thing with my vehicle. I've explained it, but some of you are new, and if you're brand new to this channel, hi. Thank you for being here. A Kia, they're known for um, little gas, little tea. It's ever so small. It's not like it's leaking um, oil up, but they're ever so small. And every once in a while, oil will come out of it. Well, they've placed, Kia places, in, in this minivan, they placed the alternator under the engine. So my alternator can get inundated with oil eventually. I already had it happen once when I was in Ohio, and I had to have the alternator replaced. And what I did was I just went ahead and had the um, battery replaced also. So when I was in Tucson, I took it to the uh, alternator place. And I would take it periodically. They they didn't install alternators. This is a side note. Side note. Uh, but he would always come out with a little meter and check it for me. I said, hi, I'm here. Would you check it for me? And he said, everything's working great. But he goes, yep, you got some oil on that alternator. At any point, my whole system could go down because my alternator has too much oil on it. So basically, I'm not going to pull it plug one single solitary thing into my lighter and overextend my alternator and my battery. I need that only for driving. Um, I don't want to be running that. So I will never plug anything, which is really the reason that I have all these power banks. My Jackery has a 12 volt, um, it's like a cigarette lighter. So that's why I was going to use that. So that answers your question, Kathleen. Okay. Now, Susie Diaz says, only use to heat up. Susie, not to cook, but. Um, yeah, uh, but, you know, they did. I mean, on, on the 12 volt uh, cooking, I mean, they do cook in them. So, yeah. But it's okay. I've got it. And if I want to heat something up, I can do that. It doesn't especially have to hook. I could cook, hook, and then have to hook, but it doesn't have to cook. But I'll use it. I'm not going to get rid of it. I will use it. Um, yeah. Teresa Lee, it is good to get veggies in your diet. Looks yummy. Making you hungry. Hi, Teresa. Yes, it does look yummy. And Barbara says, you find the perfect things. Aw, thank you. Well, I look. I'm a looker. Well, I wanted one of those steamer baskets, but, you know, I had to buy this big pot, which I'm glad I did. It was a little heavy, but... <laughs> Nikki Page, canned ham, too much. Okay. Yes, Victoria Kerr. Hi, Victoria. You, you comment a lot. Mwah. I love you. You wanted to know what I tie up my blankets with. I think I don't think you mean these blankets. Although I do have a bungee that goes across them and it hooks here and it hooks there. It like hooks here and then on the other end it hooks there so that they don't fall over. But I think what you mean 
is my sleeping bag. And it's this here that I tie it up. You see me do it. I made these. I had um, some, uh, some, um, I always want to call it felt. Every time I want to say it, uh, fleece, fleece. It, it's like flails, felt. That's the first word that comes to my mind. Um, oh, it does work sometimes. Uh, this is, um, it's fleece. I had some extra fleece and I want, I don't, I was bunging leaves in the beginning, but this is like really delicate material. Yeah, I don't want to hurt that. So what I did was I took some and I cut strips. And I have found that over time, those strips, they keep stretching out. I think they're about as stretch as they can go. It's perfect. I put one here and one here. That way, everything is like all soft for it and nothing will hurt it. Yeah. Oops, I lost my... Okay. Where am I? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, redeemed 7777. Uh, you thought my eyes looked extra pretty last time. Thank you. I did put a little bit on it. I got ready for the video. It's getting a little warm in, in my van. I was parked at the park by, beside this one guy, and I've met him before. You know, this town, it really is the, the biggest little town. Um, and I gotta pull this up because. Nope, that didn't work. Does that work? Too much. Yeah, this tripod is it's going bad. Okay. It would be so nice to have better equipment. <laughs> but I'm making do with what I have, you know. Um, I was parked over there. It was a nice shady spot. But, um, and uh, his name is Matt. He's never going to check that. Sorry, man. You know, he'll, he'll never do this. He'll never come on here. Oh, dude, I couldn't even park beside him. You know, I went to see how he was doing because he hurt his back. <laughs> you want to hear how he hurt his back? I'm going to tell you in a minute. But he smelled so bad. I couldn't even park beside him. It was like, oh my gosh. Here's how Matt hurt himself. He drinks, but not fall down drunk, but he drinks. I met him at this other park. And he was dry. He drove to this one place to get another beer. And he said they looked over and there was this car. The door was open and it started was rolling back. So he ran to save it. I, it didn't sound like it was going to hurt his car, but he thought he'd be a hero and he was going to go save it. Well, his, his foot, it's not even funny, his foot got under the pedal and is rolling back and it, it, he fell and it drug him and he has, oh, dude, <laughs> he, these two, I mean, it literally took off the skin and he had to go to the emergency room. Well, he's homeless living in his vehicle. Um, he doesn't have any bandages for it. Um, somebody took the bandages off for him and they said they were sticking. Let's, uh, and uh, so I did call my daughter <laughs> and I sent her the pictures because I took pictures of it and sent it to her. She goes, what in the world is this? <laughs> and I said, well, this is uh, Matt and this is what happened. And she says, well, for now they look superficial, but if it looks, starts looking bad, um, he needs to go in, or if he starts getting a fever, he needs to go in. Well, I don't know if that's what smells so bad, but oh my gosh. Um, and then uh, we decided, both my daughter and I, that he needs to make sure that he changes his shirt every day if he's not going to have a bandage on it. But he has no bandages. What are these homeless supposed to do? <laughs> he doesn't have a bandage. Okay, let's go on to something else. That's my story for the day. Poor Matt. Um... Can you, uh, this is from Cheese Face. Hi, Cheese Face. Uh, you always send me nice little hearts and everything. Can you teach us how to record videos? Well, how I record videos is I use my phone and I just put it on. I go to the camera app and I turn it on and, uh, you know, put it on video. And I press it and I, uh, yeah, I'm, like right now, I'm recording. Okay. Okay, um, oh 
okay. I had to move my van <laughs> as it was directly in the sun. And I wanted to change my clothes. I rearranged everything and I got out my my new Dell Latitude. Yes. Okay. Here's a new one, BB and John, not so nomadic life. Hi Lee, you look great as always we say. Thank you. You're always very nice. Okay. So let's see. Um already this is gonna be easier to see and I can move with that little iPod. iPod, okay. Thank you, Jean. You love the bees. Jean Goodyear, thank you. Lots of shout outs today. It's about time I did one of these. Annie, the plant lady. Hi, Annie. Happy late e evening as I always come here to decompress. And it's fun watching you. Thanks. Oh, wow. Love the oven. Can't wait to see if it works great. Well, it didn't. <laughs> well, well, okay. Love all the shopping sprees. Oh, you're learning a lot and your spirit is infectious. Thank you. And the arm thingies. <laughs> yeah, they're called arm gators. But yeah, I like them too. I was thinking these vids are a great way for your family to keep up with you. I was thinking about doing it. But can just imagine all the eye rolls. <laughs> yeah, you should. Uh, you know, truth is, a lot of my family, they don't watch them. <laughs> they really don't. They're busy. Oh, my gosh. Even my um, my oldest daughter, she can't watch them all. I mean, she's a nurse practitioner. She has two small babies. Um, my second daughter is a child psychologist, and she's married. And, oh, oy vey, shmeow. I mean, they don't have time. My son, my oldest son, he's got a small child and a wife. And he's not really into the techie thing anyways. He thinks it's evil. <laughs> I know. But he's a carpenter. He works. Oh, my gosh. And then he does side work. I mean, he's uh, getting ready to buy his first house. He doesn't have time. He doesn't have time to be watching my videos. Uh, you're my family. <laughs> yeah, all you guys, you're my family. And oh, I, I love my family. I mean, no, nothing. Again. They just don't have time. Uh, they don't have time. They're busy with their lives. So... Okay. Linda Swanson, you eat those crackers too. I love those crackers. Nicole, you said especially smart to use those two small ones to fit. Well, I got them. I probably won't use them as much, but we'll see. Do, okay, BB and John, do flour tortillas have to be kept cold? No. It's just a bread, bread product, yeah. Let's see. Lovely blue one. I just booked my driving test. One step closer to van life. Yay. Yes. See you soon, van life. I think you recently changed your name. I think it was something else. Wasn't it Camille? I, I think. Um, yeah. You gave me some suggestions for... You got the cutest... Um, you got the cutest little pick. <laughs> It looks so cute. So she gave me a good suggestion for um, the flour tortillas. Yes. Oh, some, I forget. Kathleen, let's read this. I used one of those 12 volt ovens for years as a truck driver. They work much the same as a slow cooker. I cooked everything from rice dishes to barbecue chicken to two pound steak roast in one. With the smaller foil loaf pans, you can cook rice or pasta in one and meat and our veggies in the other. And by varying the time you put the items in. Be sure to wipe all moisture out before storing it. And then Sadie has go, hi Sadie. You said, what kind of power did that take? Was the truck running? And she, Kathleen answered, I looked at the wattage list on the one on my Jackery 500. It says 144 watts. Yes, the truck was running. You don't make money as a truck driver unless you're going down the road under a load. I power it via cigarette lighter plug-in when traveling in my minivan so that I have a hot meal when I stop for the night. Yes, 
Um, I think that's great. I in my mind, um, it's great for a, a big semi truck. Those are big engines. They can carry. Those engines are so powerful. They have huge, probably huge alternators and everything. Um, mine's just a little six. Yeah, if I was a truck driver, that would be great. I would be cooking for day for hours, a couple hours. Bam, I'd be cooking my meals. But um, I'll just use mine to heat something up or keep it warm. Cheese Face says, "I'm watching all your videos and learning." Yeah. Josie. Lee, are you still in Reno? Totally random, but I would love to visit. P.S. Just honoring my internal urge. Yes, I am in Reno. Emile Simmons. Keep laughing. It's better than crying. My prayer group at 5 a.m. reads Psalm 91 just about every morning, and we pray for every occasion. I heard you talk about editing your YouTube with a phone app. This is from Susie. Is that Susie S or Susie with a dollar sign? What app do you use? I use LumaFusion. Purple Horse Chick. Hi. <laughs> I just love how you answer everyone's questions. Well, I'm answering them all right here. The ones that I did couldn't get to. And then he, and then below he says, most fearful, yes, thanks for doing this video. Yeah, I do believe that uh, the most fearful of all, for all of you that aren't out here as a nomad is where do I go? Where do I park? What are the, um, it just, it just is. Uh, you just have to uh, get out here and kind of do it. And once you get out here, it's not so scary anymore. It just isn't. Manny Hood looks like a fun day. It looks nice there. Yes, it is. Angela Weirda. <laughs> oh, dear. I didn't think about anyone running from the law. Good point. Don't want to be harboring a... Don't want to be harboring a new friendship. Well, I mean... On BLM land, yeah, they probably, if they're running from the law, they can kind of hang out, uh, hide out a little bit on BLM land. But um, I, I, I'm going to guess, if you're kind of hiding, hiding out from the law, I would imagine that you're going to be sort of up in the hills. Well, you're going to be in the city, too. I mean, nowadays, I mean, <laughs> it doesn't seem like anybody's getting in trouble for anything. In fact, even the prisons are kind of, in some places, they're opening up the prisons and throwing everybody out. So... Yeah. Tonham, do you ever just check into a hotel and take a long bath, pamper yourself? or And do you ever get tired of this lifestyle? No, I don't get tired of this lifestyle. I have yet to get tired of it. I love it. Honestly, I couldn't imagine living in a house and seeing the same area day in and day out. I mean, there's times during the day where I just move. <laughs> I want a different view. I just move. I would drive me. I don't. I don't think I'd like it anymore. Yeah. Um, checking into a, a hotel. Um, uh, not really a long bath pamper. I actually pamper myself enough here. I kind of do. I mean, um, probably tomorrow I'm going to do my medi pedicure and manicure. Use my new. <laughs> and I just washed my hair last night. I. You know why I pamper myself so much more than I did before? When I was in the house, there was always something else to do in my house. But when I'm in my minivan, like at night or whatever, and I'm in my... These glasses are... Yeah. Watch me break them. Um, when I'm in my minivan, I've got my phone propped up here, and I'm... I'm watching something and I've got my mirror back there and I'm pampering myself. I just am. I'm washing up. I'm doing my teeth. I actually take longer now to do my teeth than I did before when I was in the house. Because I was in there brushing my teeth and there was always, I mean, who wants to just be in a bathroom? 
I was want to go watch TV or I want to go on my iPad or I want you know go sit down. Here I'm already sitting down. I can brush my teeth for an hour if I wanted to. <laughs> That's what I'm not doing. I'm watching TV. I actually pamper myself now more. Now, Jean Goodyear, shout out. I heard a guy had placed a white corrugated plastic sheet under his flexible solar panel on the, in the roof. Apparently, it extends the life of the panel, keeps it cooler in the summer. Great explanation of the solar. That might be so, but I do have it taped all the way around. Isn't the heat still going to be contained inside there? I don't know. Now you can answer my question. Okay, beautiful little bees from Puppy to Puppy Toes. <laughs> That's a cute name. Hi, Puppy Toes. I loved watching the beautiful little bee video. Oh, I know. Uh, D L K. He um, or I don't know if it's a he or she, but they uh, comment a lot. Hi, D L K. Looks like you're getting pretty good balance on that slack line. Oh my gosh. Today's one day that I didn't put up the slack line because I wanted to edit my um, po my podcast. Um, yeah, I am getting better at it. It's great exercise. I just hope once I go south into Arizona that I'm going to find trees. In all reality, um, at some of these parks here in Reno, I mean, there's signs up, there's rules that you're not supposed to attach any ropes or anything to trees, but they all do um, at this one park. So nobody said anything to me yet, but in some parks, I mean, they don't want you tying, although I do have a tree protector, but rules are rules. But like I said, here in Reno, nobody enforces anything, so <laughs> yeah. Sweet honeybee from Dor Dory Simone. What a nice name, Dory Simone. Sweet honeybee. We need our bees. Yes, we do. Jesus is Lord 2020. Yay. Good morning. I definitely like watching you on the slack line and want to get one too. Yes. I've been adjusting to living in this van of mine. My legs are still long and arms too short, but things have a way of working out. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Okay, let's see if I can find another. Beverly Cook, wow. The meditative music alone with the bees in slow motion is amazing. Thank you. I thought so too. If you haven't seen it, go see the bees. He's just looking for some questions. Oh, here's one from Sandy. Oh, San and then D. Doberstein. Hmm, that's cute. Hi, Lee. I saw a video of yours recently when you were boondocking. You showed the storage space in the back of your van. You had three totes across the bottom of your seat well. Will you please tell me what size those totes are? I have yet to get all, I have to literally take everything out, even these. They have to go out. I have to really take everything apart and then take all that apart that's holding these up and then get under there and I have yet to do that. Probably before I leave, so sorry. They're just old, blue, dark blue ones from, uh, and they're, they're not that tall. They're, they're the same, they're big, but they're not that tall. Uh, but no, I don't know the size of them. I'm so sorry that I just haven't had time to take all these out. Um, one of you also did um, ask about my yellow totes, like where I got them. The yellow and the black. They're like bumblebees. Um, in my experience, these totes are random. I mean, and no, these yellow ones came out. There was like new, like, wow, these are some yellow totes. That's pretty cool. But it just seems to me that... Um, it's all random. And every Walmart has something different. I've gone to Target. They really don't have that much there. It's it's like a luck of the draw. And I saw these yellow ones, and I did want to have some matchy-matchy going on. 
So when I got the yellow and black ones, I wasn't that thrilled with yellow. Like, where's the yellow coming from? Mostly there was like blue and purple going on in my van. Where's the yellow? But um, that's what they had. They had a bunch of them. They had all the different sizes. So I thought, here's my chance. I better get them. But, uh, and then I've heard, I've in the past, I've heard suggestions of, well, paint the paint them. Mm -mm, I've tried painting them. No way. It, 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 it scratches off. And then that would be a complete mess. It would look even worse. Yeah, so, yeah. Kim Doe's here. Loving your colors in your home. Thank you. I love them, too. Here's somebody who watched a real video from a long time ago. Um, this was after my appendix were out. Sandy Doberstein again. I'm grateful that you were able to get through. Your thoughts on a buddy system or emergency contact system is awesome. My biggest fear is what would happen to my dog. Glad you're well. Yeah, the, with the pets, I don't know. There's there's a whole section on pets that um, I don't know anything about because I don't have one. Well, except him. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> okay. He's a Bernice Mountain Duck. Yeah, uh, back to, you know, my appendix. Um, appendicitis in seniors is the least, um, is the most misdiagnosed disease ever. Um, people just don't think of seniors as having appendicitis. But I've talked to so many seniors that have um, so many of the same symptoms that I had. They had digestive problems and they had pain in their stomach. They had the acid reflux, the GERD going on. And people, doctors were diagnosing this. They said, well, it's your gallbladder. Well, here's this medicine. Well, I went through that for a good seven years. And then finally I came up with this really horrible uh, bladder infection that ran me to the hospital. But there was some, I knew something else was going on, something more serious. I mean, I was in a pain that I've never felt before. And so I had to drive blindly to into Lake Havasu because I couldn't find GPS where I was. There was mountains all around me. I had to just guess which area do I go, which way do I go out. And I made it to the hospital and they literally left me there for a good uh, six, seven hours. Just giving me a little bit of pain medicine thinking, ah, eh, she's just complaining, you know. Finally, they did a CAT scan. Finally. And it came in and says, you have appendicitis. <laughs> uh, yeah, and the nurse, she was a traveling nurse. She was so rude to me. She was rude to me. I actually complained about her because I said, look, I said, I know my rights and I'm in pain. And I, because my daughter, I talked to her. She's a nurse practitioner. I said that a billion times. She's a nurse practitioner. Sorry. Don't mean to gloat. I am proud of her, though. Um. And I was talking to her, she goes, Mom, she goes, uh, you have patients' rights. You just uh, say the words, those two words, patients' rights. And I said, I have patients' rights. I need, I'm in pain. And she goes, you need to settle down. And I said, oh, you need to be quiet. <laughs> I want your supervisor here now. Oh, she was so nice after she found out. I could have had a busted appendicitis. Yeah. But uh, so the doctor came in and he goes, well, do you want us to treat the, your appendix or do you want them out? I said, oh, let's get them out. <laughs> out, 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 yeah. So I did recover fine and um, I found BLM land in Lake Havasu and they wanted me to be there for a week so the surgeon could do a follow-up and I did and then I left and um, it, I'm really healthy and that matters. And I'm not overweight so he could just go in the normal way with three scopes, boom, boom, boom and three scopes working and getting it out. But um, I imagine if you're really like heavy, heavy, um, you've got to go through a whole lot of like fat uh, cells and things. So yeah, I'm, I'm just thankful that I am healthy and that it could have been, um, worst case scenario is my daughter or somebody in my family would have come up from Tucson, fly up there and then drive me in my van home and then take care of me for a couple months. It would have taken a couple months. Okay, enough of that.
Oh, here's one. Janet Hudson, just curious. Have you ever thought about getting a roof carrier so you can store more stuff and free up more space in your van? Yes, I have. But there's two factors that stop me. One is that it will, you know, just the wind factor. And I'll use any anyone they have up there. It's going to use my gas. Uh, yeah, it's going to slow you down a little bit and use my gas. And number two, you, I'm not as stealthy. I like my van to look just like a soccer mom van. If I'm going to park anywhere, I don't want anybody to think there's anything up there. I don't want to worry about that. I have enough room in here. I really do. So, but thank you for asking. And then David Merling, you know, if you use a lid on the pan, it will come to a boil quicker and use less butane. butane yes. When I was making those noodles, I just wanted to film it for you. I didn't have um, a lid for it, but what I was using previously, I was just using um, some foil and putting on it. Blue Car Joy Haven. It says October 15th to April 15th. I go to LTVA on BLM land quartzite, $180 for whole time. Has treasure, um, LTVA, I don't know what that is. So can somebody help me? If you're watching this, uh, what is, I looked it up, I actually typed it in. I don't know what LTVA is. So yeah, somebody help me with that. Sounds good to me. I love quartzite. Yeah, because you can go right into Parker. And there's a Walmart in there. And then you can go into quartzite. I love their their cute little uh, laundromats and, yeah, the showers. Yeah. Sadie Husko, I'm with you on the truck stops, yes. And, yeah, go take pictures of BLM. Maybe we could meet up. Oh, yeah. One of these days it will be Minivan Lee and Big Van Sadie. <laughs> Very good. I always like the petrol truck stops. Yeah, me too. Somebody also told me to download um, those apps for truck stops. I did. If you, I forget, I'll, maybe I'll come to it. But yeah, um, I did. And they're in on my iPhone. Johnny Varela. Hi, sweetie. You are so great. And thanks for the help you give us on YouTube. I've been able to pack my car. So when I have to get away soon, my ride is always ready to go. So I keep my things in my car 24-7. I don't have a bed. I lay my bed down like you. It takes less space. You are my mentor. My grandson and I look at your channel all the time. Thanks to all you give to us. Aww. Oh, that is so sweet. Aw. Thank you. I love it. And your grandson, I wonder how old your grandson is. But yeah, it does take less us. <laughs> See you soon, Van Life. You made a great comment. I love it. This is Kathleen mentioned a rest area, isn't isn't it a place to stop and sleep in your car? I would think it's safer than fall asleep at the wheel. <laughs> yeah. Good point. You, you guys are so great. Carolyn Sparks. Good morning, Lee from Alabama. Hi, Alabama. Um, Greenbow, Alabama. And then Greenbow, and that where Forrest Grumpo's from? Greenbow, Alabama. Good to see you this morning. I would love to hear your accent, too. I'm having coffee with you. I wish I could find van dwellers here in my town to hang out with. So far, no luck. Yeah. Alabama's kind of hot in the summer. That's for darn sure. Hi, Christos. It says, where is your kitty cat? I see your puppy. No kitty cat. I did have a stupid kitty cat. <laughs> I got it from Gund. It wasn't cheap either. It was, it was lame. I mean, there wasn't anything unusual. I mean, this little guy is really cute. I mean, look at him. He looks just like a Bernice Mountain Dog puppy, too. I've looked online. They did a good job on him. 
Yeah. And if you go like this, I mean, if you hit him like this, his tail go too, too. Um, but the cat, nah, I didn't like the cat. I gave it to her granddaughter when I got to do some. I don't know what she did with it, but yeah. <sighs> Nikki Page. Uh, this was on What Did I Buy? And I bought some face stuff. My neck is reminiscent of the scarecrow. <laughs> okay. My suggestion, break all mirrors. That's funny. Um, I don't have that many. I just use Ivory Soap 62, but I have really soft skin. What about that neck that you've been talking about? Though? <laughs> okay. Oh, Dosum. Dosum. Uh, see, I talked about, I think I talked about Walmart. You said Target is better. Mm, I'm going to disagree. I mean, Target has nice stuff. But I can't get everything I need at Target. I mean, I like to go every once in a while. Ooh, what do they got? So it's much more expensive. If I go in the food section, everything's so much more expensive. And um, I'm burping and everything. This is the real me, kids. I'm leaning against it. Yeah, you know, I got my little dog. Oh, I never hold him. Well, get up there. <laughs> I promise I never <laughs> I just got him down for the video. Um. Yeah, uh, I played with dolls for a very long time in my life, but yeah. How much battery life do I have? Oh, two hours and 46 minutes. Okay. How much time do you guys have? Do we have two hours to go here? Um, uh, George Menzaras. Mens Menzaras. Hi from Australia. Thank you for this video. Much appreciated. It was on how I wash up every day. You're, you're so welcome. So what else have you guys asked me about? Um, hmm. Somebody had mentioned that they wouldn't like the, um, the wires for the, actually, I don't really notice those wires. Uh, yeah, I don't really notice them. And what else? I think that's about it. Um, this has been a long video. So I'm glad I got to do shout shout out to um, Gerald. I saw your comment. Um, you, Yes, you asked me. I don't even see it on there. I don't know why. You asked me about um, whether my new steamer would put out a lot of moisture in my van. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. But I guess I should have mentioned when I did the, the film on the video, I had my side uh, door open. Not all the way, because it was way too much light. But I did have it open and, um, you know, yeah, it was go out. The steam was going out. So, but I would never steam um, without something really open. In fact, this winter, probably what I would do is, so it doesn't get so uh, steamy in here, I'll go outside and steam when I'm on BLM land. I will go outside or go to park and pull it out and steam out there. So, yeah. Uh, and thank you. I haven't heard from you in a long time. And Craig, uh, shout out to Craig. I don't know how you're doing at this point, but um, uh, I hope you're okay. And Janet, oh my gosh. Hi, Janet. Um, I didn't get to any of your... Um, no, it's still spinning. That's crazy. It's just still spinning. I don't know why. I mean, I have internet, you know. It says it's okay. Let's see. Oh, okay. Is it done now? Oh, it's done. Oh. Let's see if I can do any more shout outs. Oh, Blue Moon. Hi, Blue Moon. It says she's still wear, working on her paperwork to get her van going. Yay. Janet Burgess. That's a Janet. Um, shout out. Victoria Kerr. Yes. Those off-leash dogs. Yeah. Shout out to Optical X-Ray. It's stuck again. So, And Joanne, uh, shout out, Joanne. Hope you're doing good in Phoenix. Love Phoenix, you know. Love Phoenix. <laughs> I really dissed Phoenix the other day on the video. Oh my gosh, yeah. 
love Phoenix. No, Phoenix is cool. I mean, it's about that. I love Reno, but it has so many problems in Reno. Oh my gosh. I mean, there's a lot of problems here. A lot of homeless. I guess a couple of years ago in, in Reno, um, the rents just went sky high. Yeah. So over the past couple of years, people have become homeless. So, well, that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I think I've pretty much mentioned, um, updated you on things. Um, Tomorrow, I'll, I'll put up about, uh, well, not tomorrow, the next day. I can't even say that because I don't even know when this video, in a couple of days, this video. <laughs> ah, I know, keeping track of all this. Um, I got the website. Check my website, minivan.com, minivan-lee.com. And then I've got the podcast, This Nomad Life by Minivan Lee. And I'm going to try to do at least, I'm going to get on a regular schedule with the podcast, like maybe like um, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, or something like that. I'll, I'll, I'll come up with a, uh, a schedule. And then um, with the videos, um, I, the way it's been going right now, it's like every two days. That gives me time to film, and then time to edit, and then time to get it up, and you know, make them look nice without just throwing them up, you know. Okay, everybody, I love you. Mwah. Thank you all for your comments. Everybody just keep leaving comments. Maybe once a month I'll do this where I'm reading. I'll, I'll um, pick out some really good ones and I'll read them and do shout outs for everybody. But I do. You have no idea how I appreciate you all. Here's something I am going to ask that, um, and you've been going through those links, I can see. Oh, yeah. Thank you for going through the Amazon links in the description of the videos. And you've been buying things. Thank you. Thank you. But another thing, too, is um, maybe you could share, everybody. if everybody could share my videos, maybe with your uh, followers on Instagram or Facebook or whatever. Um, I would like for this to really grow. I would hate to have to pay. I may have to pay for um, promotion on um, Facebook or YouTube. It's going to cost money. So, um, yeah, I'd like to grow. So, yeah, I love you. Mm, if you could do that for me, that would be great. Praise Jesus. Mm, bye.